everybody, and welcome back to Dante's channel. I look like Conan the Barbarian. Dante, what is best in life? What well, little doggy toy is best in life? So I have been itching to go out to EB Games ever since I heard of this Mega Constructs line, um, particularly the Masters of the Universe line. It looks really, really cool, especially that Castle Skull. But every single time I try to go out to do this video and this little vlog of me trying to hunt this down, boom, I get a migraine or like, boom, some like car issue or something like that. So finally I'm feeling better today. I don't think there's gonna be any problems, uh, but Dante is pretty cute. So it's kind of hard to get out of the house. Hi, do you wanna say hi? Mm. He loves his mama. Yes. Oh my God, you just farted. Did you just come here to fart? Did you just come here to fart? Go away, go away, get out. You just came here far, I know you did, go away. So Electronic Boutique slash EB Games in Canada and GameStop in America. So I do think that they're actually all under the same line now, like the same company. I believe that GameStop actually bought out like EB Games. Um, in America, at the GameStops there, they have so many exclusive items. You know, they have like the Jurassic Park Amber Collection that is apparently out there right now. They also have like the Masters of the Universe Mega Constructs. Apparently here, when you type it in, for EB Games Canada, the only mega constructs we have here is like Detective Pikachu. I'm hoping to kind of go out there, see if there's anything special there at EB Games to kind of renew my faith in that company because I've honestly only got like maybe two things at EB Games in my entire life um, in terms of merchandise. I've also obviously have bought many video games and stuff there, but in terms of merchandise, I really haven't found anything there and I'm gonna head out there to see what they have and maybe they have some good stuff and I can do a little haul video when I get back but I'm guessing right now that I'm not gonna get anything. Muffin, what is best in life? Oh, oh that was so sweet. Oh, Dante is best in life. Dante is best in life. Yes, he is. Oh, he's so good. Hopefully I can hit up both EB games. <gasps> so let us go to EB. <laughs> oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. Uh, another absolutely beautiful day in the wet BC coast. EB games Canada. And I think this is kind of a small store. Haven't been here forever, but let's see if they have anything. Ooh, that's cute. Is that Godzilla? Um, how much is your Godzilla piggy bank, by the way? Uh, let me find out. There's no, there's no price on it. Uh, no. I think it's 24.99. 24? Okay, thanks. How is that on sale? <laughs> Thank you. 
so tempted to get those classic um, 1990 Ninja Turtles figures. They look so articulate, they look so incredibly realistic. Um, so I was definitely gonna get those, but I mean, what were they, like 32, 33, so like 35 each. For $140, you would get all four. That's just a little bit too much. The guy asked if they had any Mega Constructs. All I had was Detective Pikachu, so hopefully the other EB Games um, that I go to has a little bit more variety. EB Games is very expensive. I was actually quite surprised at some of the prices on some of the items. And even when something is on sale, it's like 50 cents off. Oh, I gotta lock my door because some questionable, some questionable characters running amok outside. Even some of the things that are on sale, it's like 50 cents off one day only. It's like one dollar off. Like the sale, the sales are like not that great there. <coughs> oh, I'm so attractive. Mm, mm, it's not. And then those Ninja Turtle classic figures, I was so close to getting, so close to getting, but I didn't get it. Okay, um, EB Games was there? Excuse me, do you know where the EB Games went? Right next door. So, oh, it's right there. So here's the EB Games. It's EBX. It is much, much larger. I can't believe I just walked right in front of it and I didn't even know because I didn't even think to look here. did not end up getting anything at EB Games. Uh, the store is definitely much larger than the other one, but just because it was like much bigger, they actually didn't have that much extra than the other EB Games had. That EB Games X that I just went into, they said that the X didn't really have anything to do with anything. So it's exactly the same store. It's not like they have a stronger affiliation to GameStop or anything like that. So yeah. Kind of disappointed, but whatever. Like, let's be honest, EB Games has lots of stuff, you know? They specialize in video games. They don't specialize, you know, in collectibles and such. So, you know, EB Games is great and all, but it's just, it's not, it doesn't have what I'm really looking for. I wish that there was a store that, you know, catered to more higher-end collectibles, you know, not necessarily video games or anything like that, but just kind of higher-end collectibles and statues and you know, throw in some sideshow collectibles, some rebor, some chronicle collectibles, you know, a store like that. And I wish we had a chain kind of like that so it'd be easier to um to access and see things in person rather than just buying things online and not re really being able to see it you know, you know for yourself so in the comments down below i'd love to know if your guys's you know game stops compared to my eb games that i showed you i did a pretty good job kind of showing you around and both eb games had essentially exactly the same things so, you know, do you guys have more variety? Do you have larger stores? Do you have smaller stores? And how's the pricing? Because I feel like my pricing at my EB Games stores were quite high. They weren't that they weren't that fantastic. Even, you know, with the exchange rate, my stuff's gonna be a little bit more higher priced, obviously, than your US stuff, but is your US merchandise, you know, significantly priced lower? One dollar off, two dollars off, 50 cents off. Those aren't really sales. So I know this video was a little anticlimactic. I didn't really do anything, didn't buy anything. I just kind of walked around and shot some of the merchandise. So everybody, my apologies for the underwhelming video, because I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping that I would actually find something really cool there, and I had my fingers crossed that I'd find some Masters of the Universe mega construct figures so please remember to like comment and subscribe i come with new videos every week come check me out on social media and help us support the channel on patreon so thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary